world of The Sopranos is marked by danger. The angel of death hovers over everyone on the show. Fear. He doesn't like to be out in the press, and it makes him very uncomfortable. Tragedy. She ended up becoming paralyzed from the waist down. And scandal. You got some big lessons on the price of fame. If you screw up, you know, everyone's going to know about it. And that's just what goes on behind the scenes. In the next two hours, we'll infiltrate the mob to get an inside look at TV's most notorious crime boss. You couldn't walk 10 feet without people screaming in New York, Tony! Oh, hey, hey, Tony! And his motley crew of wise guys. Anybody can be shot, strangled, thrown in the ocean. It takes a real man to go on the toilet. These guys are outlaws, you know, and there's something sexy about that. You think you know about the real lives of these Jersey good fellas? Forget about it. This is the story of The Sopranos, the E True Hollywood story. Abish. Al Capone, Lucky Luciano, Sammy the Bull, and John Gotti. They're not your typical heroes, but gangsters have always fascinated America. And Hollywood has enjoyed a long love affair with the mob. From The Godfather to Goodfellas, crime is definitely paid on film, and paid big. Society loves its bad boys, even though it doesn't tolerate their behavior. Um, there's some kind of a admiration or curiosity about them. From the early days of talkies, movies about the mob's dark dealings left audiences wanting more. But television was slow to catch on. The small screen always showed the cop side of the story until 1999 when a new kind of TV Don showed up on the tube. Tony Soprano, a hitman with a heart. Tony can be charming and lovable and cuddly and affable and then go out and, you know, commit a heinous murder. From its debut, The Sopranos, a drama about a New Jersey crime family, was an instant mob hit. Audiences were hooked, critics raved, and even real-life mafiosos gave the series two blocks up. It has the intrigue of the Mafia that people love in the Mafia movies and the, you know, the kind of um, intrigue in the families and the business and the backstabbing and what's going on, and yet it also has a very human side to it. Despite Tony's loyal following, the undisputed boss of The Sopranos was writer-producer David Chase. David Chase uh, is a Jersey guy. He grew up in Caldwell, and he started out in television on the Rock.